Hello everyone. This is a tutorial on how to run FunWave on Windows. And to do this, we need to enable a feature called Windows Subsystem for Linux, which will allow us to bypass a lot of the weird compiling rules for Windows and make it a lot easier to do things. For instance, we can run bash in the Windows terminal, which is going to be a lot easier than using a virtual machine. To do this, we first need to go into the settings. So once we're in the settings panel, you want to head over to update and security. And in the main side menu, you want to find for developers. And if you can't find that, you can always head over to the search bar and search up developer settings. And now once er, you are in this window, you want to make sure that developer mode is enabled right here. My screen looks a little different, just make sure you find the correct uh, heading and setting. And the final thing we need to do is to make sure that the feature is enabled through the control panel. So make sure you open control panel and head over to programs. Now once we're in the programs menu, we want to go under this heading and go find the subheading turn window features on or off. Now once we click that, a window will pop up and we can scroll down to find Windows Subsystem for Linux. Make sure this is checked off. If it isn't, you might need to restart your computer once you've checked it to make sure everything's in working order. All right, now once that's done, we can go ahead and install Linux. I personally went to the Microsoft Store and just installed a version of Linux that I like to use. And you can just run it. And once you have that done, if it's a new version, you will have to set up uh, your desktop, uh, username and password and all that. Um, but now we can go ahead and install the necessary packages that we need to use for FunWave. And these are commands you'll be you'll need to run. So I'll go ahead and do that right here. Put in my password here. Now a small disclaimer here, I've already done everything, so this process will be a lot faster for me. Um, likely this will take a lot longer, especially considering that you might have to install a lot of things for this to work. But, um, now we're going to be installing packages, so let's install makefile. Oops, I'm just going to type it in. And that's make file installs. Well, it's already been installed, but um, now we need to s install Fortran. And then finally, MPI. All right, now we can exit it out. Everything's in working order. And then we can finally compile and run FunWave. So we're going to do just that. Let's open up command line. And we can just type in bash. And here we go. Now for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to make, you know, a working file. So let's make a working directory. Let's see. Let's make it and just name a model, and I have it exists. It already exists. So let's see. Uh, go into it, and I can check it. What's in here? Now I've already installed FunWave on here, and if you want to install FunWave on here, you, all you need to do is go and type in git clone and the repository link. You can copy and paste it here. I already have the link up. You can just go to the GitHub and find a link there too as well. And I'll be using version 3.5 for this tutorial. 
Now once you've done that, we can go over to FunWave. And for this video, I will be running a simple example. So let's see. Let me make my way over to the simple cases. And I'm going to be running, uh, let's see. One way, uh, vessel. Uh, oops. I'll be running vessel flat bottom. And now we can just uh, run the make file here. Everything should work. All right, and now we have our executable file. So let's run it. So we do MPI run a number of processors and we'll specify four. Um, if you want to increase or decrease the number of processors, you may have to go in and change the input file or yeah, the input file. And let's specify the file path and let's make it fun wave vessel single GNU parallel single. And you can see this, see to find the executable file if you just list, there it is right here. And so let's go back in, MPI run number of processors four, and then I'll put in specific file path, fun wave, vessel single. And if you just put in the file name itself, you might encounter a a uh, pathing error, so just make sure you have the correct pathing down. And there we go. It's running. And there you go, as simple as that.